みなさん、こんにちは。お久しぶりですね。あけましておめでとうございます。Thank you so much for waiting. I hope you had a wonderful vacation. はい、今年も一緒に頑張りましょう。If you're new to this channel, welcome to Nihongo, where we study Japanese language together. This is Mina no Nihongo Intermediate Lesson 12 Grammar Part 1. In today's video, we will learn about mono or mon だから何々られる、何々たり、何々たり、and 何々ばなし。If you haven't seen it yet, make sure to check out the vocabulary list for this lesson. はい、準備できたら、始めましょう。Our first grammar point is 何々、ものだから、or もんだから。ものだから、or もんだから、in spoken form, is used when an undesirable or unavoidable event happened and the speaker is trying to explain, give reason, or to justify it, or simply to give an excuse. This means so, or the reason for something is. This can be used with verbs in plain form or e-adjectives in plain form. We can also use this with na adjective. We just need to add na. As well as for nouns. We add na after nouns. So we have verbs in plain form, e adjective, na adjectives na, noun na, and then followed by mono dakara or mon dakara. So let's take a look at some examples on how to use this pattern. Our first example Why are you late? どうして遅くなったんですか There was a train accident and so the train stopped. So the reason for being late is because there was a train accident. Here the speaker is saying that it's not his or her fault. It is because there was a train accident. We say, Densha jiko de, due to a train accident. Densha ga, our verb is to stop. Tomarimashita. Densha ga tomarimashita. We change this to plain form. Tomata. And then followed by mono dakara. It's because there was a train accident and so the train stopped. And it's unavoidable. Densha jiko de, densha ga tomata mono dakara. Densha jiko de, densha ga tomata mono dakara. We can also say tomata mon dakara to be more casual. Another example I couldn't become a pilot. Because I'm short. It's not my fault. It's unavoidable. The speaker might be implying that he or she wants to become a pilot. But due to this reason, he or she cannot. We say, Watashi wa sei ga hikui. Here we are using an e adjective. So we just use it as is. Sei ga hikui followed by mon dakara. Pilot ni nare nakatta. I couldn't become a pilot. 私は背が低いもんだからパイロットになれなかった。Next example, I'm not good at English, so I couldn't speak much abroad or while I was abroad. 英語が下手。下手 is a na adjective, so we add na. 英語が下手なもんだから。It's because I couldn't speak English. It's not my fault. 外国であんまり喋らなかった。外国であんまり喋らなかった。英語が下手なもんだから、外国であんまり喋らなかった。My child is an only child and so he grew up shy. うちの子は一人子な。Hitoriko is an, an only child. Hitoriko, so we add na because this is a noun. Followed by mon dakara. It's because he or she is an only child. So it's unavoidable that he or she grew up shy. Hazukashi gariya ni sodatte shimaimashita. Uchi no ko wa hitoriko na mon dakara. Hazukashi gariya ni sodatte shimaimashita. We are poor, so it's difficult to send our kids to college. うちは貧乏な。貧乏 is a na adjective or it could be a noun. うちは貧乏な
もんだから、子供三人を大学に行かせるのは大変です。So sending our kids to college is difficult. So、uh, this is something unavoidable. So the speaker is justifying not being able to send their kids to college. Now there is an exception when using mono だから。This cannot be used with objective reason. For example, the Shinkansen is way faster than the normal train, so we'll arrive in Kyoto in three hours. Here we are not giving any reason to justify an action. We are just saying that because the Shinkansen is faster, we can go to Kyoto in three hours. So this is different. We say, Shinkansen wa putsu densha yori zutto hayai. So, or because, So we use nani nani kara or no de. So we cannot use mon da kara in this case. Sanjikan de kyoto ni tsukimas. Shinkansen wa putsu densha yori zutto hayai. Kara or no de. Sanjikan de kyoto ni tsukimas. Our next grammar point is using nani nani rareru, which is an indirect passive sentence. Using an intransitive verb. The indirect passive sentence is used when you want to express that someone did something and it somehow affected you or the speaker. For example, if the speaker felt inconvenienced or harmed by the action. In this pattern, we will use intransitive verb. When we say intransitive verb, The verb doesn't take an object, such as to run, to cry, or to die. First, let's review. In a regular sentence pattern, we have the doer of the action, wa, the target or the experiencer, o, followed by the verb. This is the regular pattern. For example, my teacher prays me. So the doer of the verb to praise is the teacher. So, our subject is sensei wa, and then the target or the experiencer is me, which is watashi, watashi o, and then our verb is to praise, homemas or homemashita. Sensei wa watashi o homemashita. My teacher praise me. Now, we first learned about passive form from beginner lesson 37. It is when the Target or the experiencer becomes the subject, followed by the doer and then the verb. Here we use the rareru form. So it's the target or the person experiencing the action, wa, followed by the doer, marked by the particle ni, and then the verb in rareru form. For example, I was praised by my teacher. So here I will be the subject. Watashi wa sensei ni, and our verb homemas or homemashita becomes homerare mashita. Watashi wa sensei ni homerare mashita. So, how do we use this pattern? Again, we use intransitive verb, we change it to the rareru form. For example, the verb iku, it becomes ikareru. Another example is naku, to cry, it becomes nakareru. And last example is to run away. Nigeru. It becomes Nigerareru. So let's take a look at some examples on how to use this pattern. First example Everyone went ahead and I lost my way. So in this scenario, we could see that he, the speaker is with his or her friends or with someone or with a few people. And then they went ahead. And due to this action, the speaker. Uh, felt left behind or was inconvenient by the action. We say, minna ni. So the doer of the action is marked by the particle ni. Minna ni, saki ni, ahead, and our intransitive verb is iku or go. We change it to rareru. Ikareru or ikarete because we will follow this by the cause or the result of the action. Ikarete, michi ga wakaranaku narimashita. Minna ni saki ni ikarete, michi ga wakaranaku narimashita.
Another example, if you stand there, I won't be able to see what's in front of me. The verb or the intransitive verb here is to stand. We say, anata ni, so you, soko ni, our verb is to stand, tatsu. We change it to, tatareru, tatareru, to, if you stand there, mae ga miemasen, I won't be able to see what's in front of me. Anata ni soko ni tatareru to, mae ga miemasen, so I will be inconvenient by your action. Next example, the baby cried in the middle of the night, so I couldn't sleep well yesterday. Yonaka ni akachan ni, our verb is to cry, naku, which becomes nakare ru or nakareta in past tense. Nakareta no de, so, kino wa yoku nemuremasen deshita. I couldn't sleep well yesterday. Yonaka ni akachan ni nakareta no de, kino wa yoku nemuremasen deshita. So the baby did an action, and the speaker was inconvenienced by the action. Next example, my fiancé ran away for no reason or left me without telling me any reason. Konnyaku shiteita kare ni. My fiancé, ryu mo naku, without any reason, our verb is to run away, nigeru, which becomes nigerareru. Or in this case, nigerarete shimaimashita, which uh, means the speaker felt regret or embarrassment because of the fiancé's action. Next is using the nani nani rareru for indirect passive using transitive verb. This time we are going to make indirect passive sentences using a transitive verb. Transitive verb are verbs that take a direct object. We also learned this from lesson 37, when the doer of the action did something to the belonging of the experiencer. So not directly to the person, but to that person's belonging. So the pattern becomes the target or the experiencer, wa, followed by the doer, ni, and then we have the object, o, plus the passive form or the rareru form of the verb. For example, my little brother broke my switch. So the verb is to break something. The action was done to the switch, not to the owner, but then it affected the owner. We say watashi wa, because I am experiencing the action, followed by ototo, ni, my brother, switch Oh, our verb is to break, which is kowasu, which becomes kowasareru or kowasaremashita because it is in past tense. Watashi wa ototo ni switch o kowasaremashita. How do we use this pattern? We have object o plus the transitive verb in rareru form. For example, kohi o kobosu, to spill coffee. We say kohi o Kobosareru. Another example is utao utao. Utao is a transitive verb and the object is song. Utao utao becomes utao utawareru. So let's take a look at some examples of using indirect passive form using transitive verbs. For example, I think my friend spilled the coffee on purpose because I had a fight with her earlier. So our verb here is spilled, spilled the coffee, which is a transitive verb. Watashi wa saki tomodachi to kenka shita kara. Because I had a fight with her earlier, kanojo ni, kanojo ni by, by her, wazato on purpose, kohi o, so this is our object, kohi o, our verb is kobosu. To spill, kobosu becomes kobasareta, kobasareru or kobasareta, past tense, to omo. Watashi wa saki tomodachi to kenka shita kara, kanojo ni wazato kohi o kobosareta to omo. 
Another example, my neighbor was singing so loud that I couldn't sleep. Our verb is to sing, which is a transitive verb. Otonari san ni ogoe de loud voice, utao, so song, sing a song. We say utao, so to sing, to sing a song. It becomes utawarete, and so nemure masen desha. I couldn't sleep. Otonari san ni ogoe de utao utawarete nemure masen desha. A tall building was built next to me, and the sun won't hit my house. Tonari ni takai biru wo. Our verb is to build tatsu. Taterarete, tatereru, or taterarete. And so, hi ga ataranaku narimashita. Tonari ni takai biru wo. Taterarete, hi ga ataranaku narimashita. Someone parked a bicycle at my bicycle's parking lot without permission. Our verb is to park. Watashi no jitensha no churinjo. Churinjo is a bicycle parking lot. Ni dare ka ga katte ni. means without permission. Jitensha o. So this is our object. Jitensha o. Our verb is tomeru. To park something. It becomes tomerare teimasu. Tomerare teimasu. To be parked. Watashi no jitensha no churinjo ni dare ka ga katte ni jitensha o tomerare teimasu. Our next grammar point is nani nani tari, nani nani tari. We first learned about nani nani tari, nani nani tari pattern from lesson 19 when we want to list um, more than one action. For example, on my days off, I clean and do the laundry. So we have two actions, cleaning and doing the laundry. We say, Yasumi no hi wa sentaku o shitari. So sentaku shimasu becomes sentaku o shitari. And to clean is soji o shitari followed by shimasu. So meaning I do the laundry, I clean, and so on. So we are listing actions. Now the pattern verb tari, verb tari can also be used to express that two opposite actions are happening at the same time. For example, going up and down, going up and down. So going up, going down, do, um, happening simultaneously. Also turning on and off, on and off, again opposite, on and off, and so on. We can also use tari with adjectives. Now if it's Adjective tari, adjective tari, it means that there are many types of things that exist. But sometimes it could also mean that something changes from one to another. Like I said, we can use this pattern with verbs, with adjectives, e-adjectives, na-adjectives, and also with nouns. So let's take a look at some examples on how to use this pattern. For example, the weather is a little weird today. It will rain, then it will stop. And it will rain again. We say, Kyo no tenki wa chotto hen. Ame ga, our verb is to rain or to stop raining. Ame ga yandari, to, uh, the rain stops. And then it will rain again. Yandari, futtari, suru. Kyo no tenki wa chotto hen. Ame ga yandari, futtari, suru. Meaning, it will stop and rain, it will stop again, and then it will rain again. So it means it keeps alternating between those two. Another example, at night, someone seems to go up and down the stairs. It might be a ghost. Our verb is to go up and go down. So alternately, it's, it's happening. We say, yoru, dare ka ga kaidan o, to go up is nobottari, or noboru becomes nobot. Tari, to go down is oritari. Nobotari, oritari, shiteiru yoda. It seems like someone is going up and down the stairs. It might be a ghost. Yure kamoshirenai. Yoru dare ka ga kaida no nobotari, oritari, shiteiru yoda. Yure kamoshirenai. 
the lights in my room keep going on and off. On and off, on and off, on and off. We say, 私の部屋の電気が To go on or to switch on is ついたり To turn off is 消えたりついたり消えたりしています。私の部屋の電気がついたり消えたりしています。Now, the pattern adjective tari, adjective tari can be used to show different types of something that exists. For example, Disney Sea has many rides. For example, there are scary ones and comfortable ones. We say, Disney Sea wa samazama na attraction ga taksan aru. Tatoeba, kowakattari so kowai becomes kowa. Here we change it to kowakatari. Raku. Raku is、uh, an adjective meaning comfortable. Raku dattari. So here, dattari no attraction ga aru. So there are many different types of rides or attraction that exist in Disney, and those are scary ones and comfortable ones. Now, in some cases, the pattern adjective tari, adjective tari. Can also show that something is not consistent or it keeps changing from one thing to another. For example, my mother's curry may be sweet or spicy depending on the day. So, this, she doesn't cook it the same way. So, depending on her mood, maybe it changes. We say, お母さんのカレーライスは日によって depending on the day, 甘い甘かったり Spicy, kara, 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 So, this pattern means leaving something on or still in use. Nani nani panashi is similar to the grammar point, which is nani nani mama. Both describes the state of an object. However, mama doesn't have a negative or positive feeling, unlike panashi. Panashi has a negative feeling to it, meaning that something should have been done but has been left undone. How do we use this pattern? We simply use the verb in mass form. We remove mass and then we attach panashi. So, verb panashi. For example, the verb akemas, to open. We say ake, remove mass, add panashi. Ake panashi. Meaning to leave something open. Another example is mizu o dashimas. Meaning to turn the water on. So, like the faucet. We say, mizu o dashi. So, remove mass. Mizu o dashi panashi. Meaning, to leave the water running. So, you turn on the faucet and you just let the water run. So, that is, mizu o dashi panashi. So, let's take a look at some example sentences. For example, the water was running. What a waste. So, the water was left behind. Someone turned it on and then left it running. We say, Mizu o, our verb is dashimas, or to let something run out or go out. So we just use dashi and then we add panashi. Mizu o dashi panashi datta yo, mottai nai yo, what a waste. Mizu o dashi panashi datta yo, the water was left running. Mottai nai yo. Next example, you've left the door open, shut it. We say, doa ga, our verb is to open. We remove mas, so we have ake plus panashi. In this case, we say, doa ga ake panashi da yo. Shime nasai, or close it. Doa ga ake panashi da yo, shime nasai. So this Nasai is usually used by、um, parents when they're talking to their children or kids. Another example Who turned off my alarm? Dare ga mezamashi dokeo kitano? 
I did. It was just ringing this morning, so I turned it off. So something was left uh, in use. So the owner didn't turn it off. So someone else turned it off because it was just ringing the whole time. Watashi da yo. I did. Kesa mezamashi doke ga. Our verb is narimas, meaning to ring. It becomes nari plus panashi. It was left ringing. Datta mon da kara. Watashi da yo. Kesa mezamashi doke ga nari panashi datta mon da kara. So here we use the mon da kara from the first uh, grammar point, which is to give reason. Kitta yo. That's why I turn it off. Now it's time for you to try. Use nani nani mondakara in the sentence below. Let me know your answers in the comment section below. Hai, otsukare sama deshita. Kyo no lesson wa dou deshita ka? Yaku ni tatta ra like button no oshite kudasai ne. Moshi komento to ka somon ga areba zehi shita ni kaite kudasai. I hope you learned something today. Make sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss part 2 of this lesson. If you want to support this channel even more, consider becoming my patron to my Patreon page where you can get the lesson PDF and other study materials. And as always, to all my patrons, hontoni arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you so much for your continued support. Okay, so that's it for today's lesson. I will see you in the next one. Mata ne! A big shout out to our elite scholars, Maiku, Cornelius, Constantine, Serio, and Chuck. And to our study buddies, Paul, Quito, Taras, Jimmy, Peggy, Jared, Max, and Reiko. And to all our Nihongo students, Hontoni, arigatou gozaimashita.